Hello families, welcome back to the American Family Survival Channel. I am your host, Jeffrey Snipes, and as predicted, Obamacare is absolutely killing the middle class by Michael Snyder of the Economic Collapse blog. Families, please visit the American Family Survival Store.com today for all your family survival needs. Um, and the critics of Obamacare have been proven right. The Obama administration promised that health insurance premiums uh, would go down. Instead, they have absolutely skyrocketed. The Obama administration promised that Obamacare would not kill jobs. Instead, firms are hiring fewer workers because of suffocating health care costs. Um, as you will see below, even the Federal Reserve is admitting this. Uh, the Obama administration also promised that the big health insurance companies uh, would love the new Obama care plans and would eagerly compete with one another to win customers in the new health insurance marketplaces. Instead, many of the big health insurance companies are now dropping Obamacare plans altogether. We witnessed the latest stunning example of this phenomenon just a few days ago. It turns out that Aetna has been losing hundreds of millions of dollars on plans sold through the health exchanges and now they plan to pull out of the program almost entirely. Earlier this week, Aetna, which covers about 900,000 people through the health exchanges created under Obamacare, announced that it would drastic, dramatically reduce its, presen its presence in those exchanges instead of expanding into five new states this year, as the insurer had previously planned. Uh, the company said that it would, it would drop out of 11 of the 15 states in which it is currently uh, selling under the law. And this decision followers, uh, follows similar moves from other insurers. Uh, United Health announced in April that it would cease selling plans on most exchanges. Uh, shortly after Humana pulled out of two states, uh, Virginia and Alabama, more than a dozen of the nonprofit health insurance cooperatives set up under the law, health insurance carriers uh, created using government-backed loans in order to spur competition have failed entirely. Uh, while some insurers are entering the exchanges, even more are leaving. Uh, customers who are now forced to obtain insurance or pay a hefty fine that grows more costly over time are being left in a difficult position. Americans are essentially stuck between a rock and a hard place, either losing coverage entirely or having to cough up money for a plan they can't afford. Something has to give, said Larry Levitt. I hate a healthcare law expert at the Kaiser Family Foundation. Either insurers will drop out or insurers will raise premiums. Um, according to a new survey by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, 20.9% uh, of manufacturing firms uh, in the state said they were employing fewer workers uh, because of the Affordable Care Act, the healthcare law known as Obamacare, while 16.8% of respondents in the service sector said the same. Uh, now, courtesy of a new study by independent analyst uh, Charles Gaba, um, who has crunched the numbers for insurers participating in the ACA exchanges in all 50 states, uh, we can all also calculate what the average Obamacare premium increase across the entire U.S. will be. Uh, using proposed and appro approved rate increase request, the average Obamacare care premium is expected to surge by a whopping 24% this year. Millions of people who pay the full cost of their health insurance will face the sting of rising premiums next year with no financial help from government subsidies. Renewal notices being the bad news will go out this fall just as the presidential election is in the home stretch. Um, I don't know if I could swallow another 30 to 40% without severely cutting into other things I'm trying to do. Uh, like retirement savings or reducing debt, said Bob Burns of Blaine, Minnesota, a Twin City suburb. His monthly premium of $524 is already about 50% more than he was paying in 2015, and he has a higher deductible. So, uh, folks, uh, this is one of the big reasons why nearly one out of every five um, U.S. adults lives with their parents or their grandparents these days. Uh, many young adults can't afford the basics of life, such as health insurance, and so they have to have got to find a way to cut back expenses somewhere. Uh, if that means moving back in with mom and dad, that is what some of them are going to do. I'm astounded that our system of health care has become so messed up. Uh, but this is just more evidence of how our society is falling apart in thousands of different ways. 
and I am not optimistic that things will be turned around anytime soon. So please remember to go to AmericanFamilySurvivalStore.com for all your family's survival needs. Thank you so much. God bless you and have a great day.